Popularly known as the deadliest beast of the Arctic, it can even defeat an African lion in a face-off. As calm as it looks, underestimating the animal's wrath can be a huge mistake. In places where humans might freeze to death, this animal walks with the utmost ease. It loves preying on seals, has an exceptionally great sense of smell, and is the relative of the brown bear. We're talking about none other than the polar bear. The polar bear is considered to be the largest extant bear species, along with being the largest extant land carnivore. The polar bear is not an ordinary hypocarnivore like his closest relatives the black and grizzly bear, but instead is the most highly carnivorous bear as more than 90% of its diet is meat. Polar bears are usually found along the Arctic Circle surrounding the Arctic Ocean and other seas and lands. Widely known as the sister species of the brown bear, the polar bear has evolved significantly to survive in the cold temperatures, to walk on snow, ice, open water, and to hunt seals which is its most preferred prey. Despite being born on land, most polar bears live the majority of their lifespan on the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean. This is probably why polar bears are actually classified as marine mammals, and the literal meaning of their scientific name is maritime bear. As far as the polar bear's history and evolution are considered, it was first described in 1774 by Constantine John Phipps, who gave it the scientific name Ursus Maritimus, the Latin name for maritime bear. Before that, polar bears were considered to be their own individual species, but after multiple types of research and studies, it was found that the polar bear had uncanny similarities with the brown bear. It was pretty evident that the evolution of both the bears happened to be almost in the same direction, hence, the theory of their individuality was considered to be untrue and inaccurate. After several scientific names being considered for the polar bear, the name Ursus Maritimus was finalized, at last, given by Phipps. Historically, the polar bear has also been known as the white bear. It is sometimes referred to as the Nanook, based on the local Inuit term Nanook. As mentioned earlier, the polar bear is mostly found in Arctic regions like Greenland, Russia, Alaska, Newfoundland, Norway, and Canada. The fact that there is limited to no human development in these areas has really helped the polar bears sustain themselves in these regions. They are found to be unevenly distributed all across the Arctic. They are found in lesser numbers in the north as compared to the south, like the James Bay in Canada. Talking about their southernmost range, they are mostly found near the boundary between the subarctic and humid continental climate zone. Since they spend most of their life on the frozen water, cases of polar bears drifting away with the ice are extremely frequent. The total population of polar bears on Earth has not been studied properly so far, but as per an estimate, the biologists have declared 20 to 25,000 or 22 to 31,000 polar bears worldwide. The total polar bear population is divided into 19 units or subpopulations. 60% of the subpopulations are in Canada. Out of these 19 species, one is close to extinction, two have been rapidly increasing, seven are recorded to be stagnant, and nine have insufficient data as of 2017. We have mentioned earlier that the most preferred prey or food for polar bears are seals. This is majorly because seals are the most abundantly and readily available animal in areas where the polar bears live. A 
A common method of hunting by polar bears involves the bear keeping perfectly still by a seal's breathing hole, waiting for hours or even days for a seal to pop up for air. Seals are slippery and well designed to escape from polar bears. A polar bear might catch only one or two out of ten seals it hunts, depending on the time of year and other variables. As to hydration, since most of the fresh water remains trapped in ice, polar bears have evolved to produce their own water through the metabolism of fats found in the blubber of seals. This is another reason why polar bears rely on sea ice to access the seals that are their primary source of food, as well as to rest and breed. With weather and climatic changes that happen throughout the year, seals migrate to other places and the polar bears follow to not miss out on their food. Apart from seals, polar bears also feed on reindeers. Birds, eggs, rodents, crabs, plants, berries, roots and in some cases, other polar bears. One of the most unique qualities of a polar bear is its extremely well-developed sense of smell, which enables it to smell the seals which are approximately 1.6 kilometers away or buried under one meter of thick snow. Its vision and hearing senses are just as good as a human being. Moreover, polar bears are great swimmers. Polar bears are often witnessed swimming from Greenland to Iceland. One bear swam continuously for nine days in the frigid Bering Sea for 700 kilometers to reach ice far from land. An average polar bear can swim at 10 kilometers per hour, walk at a speed of 5.6 kilometers per hour, and run at a speed of up to 40 kilometers an hour. The polar bears are solitary animals and like to live their lives in a secretive manner. The mating season usually begins in April and May. The male and the female bear stay together and are believed to mate multiple times for an entire week. The female remains pregnant for almost four to six months and gains a lot of weight during that time. The cubs are often born blind and weigh less than 0.9 kilograms. As per an estimate, each litter usually contains two cubs. An average adult male polar bear usually weighs around 350 to 700 kilograms and measures around 2.4 to 3 meters in length. On the other hand, adult female polar bears weigh much less than their male counterparts. They are around 150 to 250 kilograms and measure 1.8 to 2.4 meters in length. However, when females conceive and become pregnant, they can weigh as much as 500 kilograms. The largest polar bear ever recorded in the history of wildlife was a male and weighed around 1,002 kilograms. It was recorded in Alaska in 1960. This particular bear was 3.39 meters in length. All bears are believed to have shorter tails, but the polar bear in particular has the shortest of them all, measuring 7 to 13 centimeters only. If we were to compare the polar bear's structure with its closest relative, the brown bear, we would observe that polar bears have a much more elongated body build and a longer skull and nose. The ears and tails are relatively smaller and the feet are designed to be wider and larger in order to facilitate treading on snow or thin ice. The larger surface area of the feet helps the bear distribute its body load evenly and enables a better walking pattern. The feet also help in the efficient swimming of the polar bear by providing effective propulsion. The polar bear's feet are approximately 30 centimeters or 12 inches wide in adults. The paws are covered with a thick padding of dermal bumps which provides a grip when walking on ice, and the claws are also made up of the same qualities which help the polar bear to grab the prey and ice. For the very same reasons, the claws of the polar bear are scoop-shaped from the underside. Scientists and biologists have conducted various studies on the polar bear and have found out that an average polar bear has more injuries on its right limbs as compared to the left ones. This probably suggests that the majority of polar bears are right-handed. Its 42 teeth are sharp enough to prey on animals to supply his carnivorous diet. The teeth on the polar bear's cheek side are smaller with rougher tips as compared to the brown bear. Moreover, the canines are sharper and larger. The coat of fur of the polar bear consists of several layers. These layers include a dense underfur and an outer layer of guard hairs. These layers can often appear to be white or tan in color, 
but are in fact transparent. The guard hair of the polar bear is evenly spread all across its body in around 5 to 15 centimeters. It is no wonder that a polar bear's fur is white in color, but a lesser known fact is that the color changes from white to yellow due to the effects of aging. The average life expectancy of polar bears is 25 years. Many factors like hunting, climate change, pollution and human developments have led to the decrease in the number of polar bears worldwide. Despite being unaware of the exact population of polar bears on Earth, the species has been categorized under the vulnerable section of the IUCN list as of 2015. Scientists have been trying to study their habitat to know more about the root cause of the decline in their numbers. Polar bears might be whiter than milk, fluffier than a life-size teddy and possesses an unending admiration of ice, but still, they are a fearsome beast to admire. Share, like and subscribe for more beautiful beasts. Until then, see you on the next one.